if you've got a boiler and you don't have a deaerator, you've probably got a typical feed water tank. Um, it's got a pump on it, pump water into the boiler as it's needed, but it has other important jobs. One of the important jobs of a feed water tank is to hold water coming back from the system. If we get a lot of water back from the system, it may maintain a pretty high temperature all by itself, 160, 170, or even higher uh, from the temperature of the returning condensate. But if we've got a system that we're just starting up or we've got a system where we don't have a lot of condensate coming back from the system, then we may have to have a feed water preheat system. Preheating the water going into the boiler is important because cold water will shock the boiler and that's going to cause the metal at the water inlet to become more and more brittle and it will eventually crack and as it's fatigued. So the way that we maintain the temperature in a preheat tank is injecting steam. Um, that preheats the water and it also helps drive off oxygen so we don't need as many oxygen scavenging chemicals. There are many components of our preheat system. Um, first, we've got to have a temperature control to maintain the proper temperature. Secondly, we've got to have a valve that's integrated with that. Um, in this case, it's a capillary controlled valve. And we've got to have a steam supply or source to preheat the tank. In this tank, we're using a method of heating called sparging. We're actually injecting steam into the water below the surface to pick up those BTUs and to bring the, the feed water temperature up. If we look at this tank, we can see that our current feed water temperature is about 130 degrees. That's cooler than we would like to see going into our boiler because the greater the difference between the feed water temperature and the temperature of the boiler, the more thermal stress we're gonna have. So I'm gonna show you the thermal element where we're measuring this temperature and I'll show you how we're adjusting the regulating valve in this application. Got two things to show you here. One is our thermal well. This thermal well houses a capillary tube and that capillary tube puts more pressure on this line to our control valve as the temperature goes up. So we can make adjustments at our control valve that will allow this capillary to properly control it. This particular capillary has got a temperature range of 125 to 215 degrees. Obviously 215 degrees would be too hot uh, for the water in this tank to even be pumped. So we're generally going to shoot for a temperature of between 180 and 185 on a vented preheat tank. The second thing I want to show you is the steam inlet. This may just look like a union and a pipe nipple and a bushing but there's actually a sparge tube attached to this that distributes the steam below the water surface to prevent hammer. This is our temperature control valve for our feed water tank. This is temperature only. It does not regulate the pressure of the steam. It just throttles the steam according to temperature. Um, if we've got this on a high pressure boiler application, we may have a pressure reducing valve prior to this or we may have a combination pressure and temperature control valve. But this is a fairly simple setup. We've got our capillary coming in and as the temperature expands the capillary fluid, it compresses the actuator and closes the valve. This has a fairly simple adjustment. We simply screw our set point adjustment here, further compressing back against the capillary and that raises our set point. And as we do that, we can hear the steam flow increase to the tank. Okay, so our preheat system's quieted down quite a bit because we're right up to 180 degrees. And at this temperature, we should be able to pump that water no problem and have minimal shock to our boiler. So a preheat system is great for any system that starts and stops because it brings that water back up to temperature quickly. And uh, it's really going to preserve the life of your boiler. Appreciate Jude hanging out with us and talking a little bit about the preheated feed water system. Now you may be wondering where I'm at. I still can't tell you, but make sure you stay tuned. Got a big announcement for where coming up real soon. What I can tell you is to go out to Boiler University page and you can look at all of the schedules for classes, 
We'd love to have you. You can hang out with Jude and just take in some, some of his knowledge that he's got. Well, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe share a video and subscribe to that YouTube channel. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.